Welcome back to a room full of beautiful pink yes. people today. It is all about pink power. We are celebrating survivors. We are honoring fighters. And of course, we are educating you for the future. It's all about us doing this together yes. as women. We are banding together because we know breast cancer is not just an American fight. Listen to this. Approximately 2.3 million women were diagnosed worldwide in 2022. Our next survivor is a refugee from Iraq where she says people don't even say the mm. word cancer because it's just too horrible to speak into existence. Take a look. I grew up in Baghdad in the war in Iraq and then um, everything suddenly has changed in my country. Terrorists uh, got my home and killed member of my family. Then uh, my family, they said, you can't stay here in Baghdad. You have to leave to the safe country. And then uh, I moved to America. I find out uh, I had breast cancer. In 2016, I work in the same uh, school with my kids. I was so happy. So I, I find something uh, weird in my press. I was scared to have some serious disease or to lose my job. My sister, she said, this is serious, you have kids. You have to go to the hospital and start to check up. Then they find out the breast cancer. In Middle East, when um, the people hear the breast cancer, they, they don't say cancer. They say they have that disease. They even can't say cancer because it's a very big word. So when the people say cancer, immediately it comes to your mind, you're going to die. So my family, they don't believe. Me, I don't believe. I said, why in this time? It's, you know, it's God, he always put you in the some tests. You have to pass it or fail it. So I choose to, to pass it. So I said, my God, he chose me to, to this situation because he loved me, so. I remember my oldest daughter, she was in the fourth grade. She went with me to the salon when they shave my hair. She said, you are beautiful even when you are bald. So she's filmed that too. And she tried to act as a big girl, but it's a very hard situation. Breast cancer was a big chapter in my life, but it's not the last. The fight. The fight is so much about bravery. It's so much about support. It's so much about hope. She says mm -hmm. it was a part of her life. It was a chapter, but as you can see, it definitely was not the last.